How do we actually expect Rouhani to navigate relations with Saudi and the U.S., given the rhetoric at the weekend? It's uh, going to be an uphill struggle. It's already quite a steep slope for Hassan Rouhani. He's been trying to sell the engagement with the West, which has been the platform and the very fundamental part of his campaign to his re-election. As you mentioned, a resounding victory, a landslide victory for him. And again, that endorsement for his engagement with the West. What it comes down to, though, is the fact that he's going to have to find ways to reinvigorate negotiations with partners outside of the GCC and the United States. I mean, the words coming out from this meeting in Riyadh, I see to go through this with you again. Uh, President Trump saying the Iranian government gives terrorists safe harbor, financial backing and social standing needed for recruitment. Also adding all nations of conscience must work together to isolate Iran, denying the funding for terrorism. Uh, Iran has shot back. Their foreign ministers come out and tweet saying, you know what, this harsh rhetoric is the basis of the trade deal that's been reached and foreign policy or simply mulling or milking KSA of $480 billion, question mark, is how Javad Sarif put it in that tweet. So uh, it becomes a lot more difficult now. And uh, ironically, uh, he had been campaigning on the platform of being more liberal, yet this latest result puts him in an even tighter corner. Yeah, you know what, Yusuf, I was really struck by a Bloomberg View piece written by Eli Lake saying uh, Rouhani was the lesser of two evils, but Westerners vastly overestimate, this is an opinion piece by Eli Lake, vastly overestimate what an Iranian president can do. He calls him a fake reformer in a fake election. What will be President Rouhani's uh, challenges in the second term? Look, uh, ultimately, we've been saying this throughout our coverage, is that you are looking or you were looking at two key candidates in the election that are still operating within the confines of the Islamic Republic and have to report to the ultimate political authority, which is Ali Ayatollah Khamenei. Having said that, Hassan Rouhani has a few options here in terms of trying to navigate what looks like a burgeoning, strengthened U.S.-Saudi relationship, Saudi-U.S. axis, intent on cornering Iran even further. Look, Karim Sajapur of the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, he's come out and said there are few major countries who believe Iran is the greatest source of instability in the region, meaning the latest round of sanctions, uh, countries like Russia, countries like China, and even Europe, if you pull up ECTR Go, there's some European countries, some of the largest trade partners of Iran. The EU foreign policy chief has congratulated the Iranian president, and they'll be intent on making even more deals going forward, arguably jumping on this uh, opportunity that's been created.